Paul Brown is a United States congressman from Georgia and there's been this uh, video on the internet uh, about him talking about the evolution and stuff and um, said some uh, peculiar things and I'll read the quote I've come to understand that all this stuff I was told about evolution and embryology, Big Bang Theory all that is lies straight from the pit of hell and it's lies to try to keep me and all the folks who are taught that from understanding that they need a savior there's a lot of people in the United States that think like that so it's nothing there's nothing really new about this. Since I'm starting now on YouTube, I think uh, it's, a, it's a good video to start to talk about. Um, so here's the thing. He's a doctor. He's not, a, he's not really a physicist to talk about the, the Big Bang Theory or astrophysicist. And also n not a biologist to talk about uh, evolution. So um, he's not really qualified to talk about this stuff, as yes, I'm not, I'm just commenting on this stuff, but um, here's the thing, there's actually people that uh, study these things, so, um, and th there's, there's a consensus among 90-something uh, percent of the scientists that, that actually dedicate their life, actually dedicate their lives to this thing, so, um, his statements are not really relevant because he's not a, as I said, a scientist in that area. On the other hand, he is a doctor, he's a physician, so um, when he states he doesn't really say what he doesn't think is true in embryology, but um, here's the thing the Big Bang happened like millions of years ago. Evolution is not a thing that we can really watch happening but embryology, embryology is the study of the development of the human fetus not the human fetus every every animal we can see it happen you know you, we can see cells in a microscope and we can see the development so i don't know what he really wants to say when he says that um, he doesn't believe all that stuff that I was told about the embryology, we can see it happen. So uh, that's mm -hmm. stupid, I think, for him to say. Even more stupid because he's a physician, so he studied these things in med school. So there isn't a big debate what how it happens. We studied, and we know how it, how it does. So we know what happens. So I don't think he when he said embryology, he. He wanted that. He would just want us to talk about, you know, what the main thing is, which is religion. His religion. So he put in biology. I think in there by mistake. Um, about the other stuff that he said. Uh, so th this speech was made in a in a church, in that uh, Liberty Bat Baptist Church Sportsman Bank. Quit. I think that's a church. I don't know. It has church in the name, but. Um, so his audience is uh, religious, religious people. So they they were cheering him, obviously. But that's what scares me because I don't mind his dumbness, but I do mind the ignorance he's putting in other people. You can argue that that people, if they don't believe in the Big Bang theory and evolution, they will never do. But uh, these people will have kids, and they will teach their kids. Um, that uh, all this stuff is crap and the th stuff that you learn at school it's stupid about the evolution that's what really scares me because we're um, putting the future of the world in the hands of people that uh, really don't know how the universe works and uh, even science don't know a lot of things but they're studying it so they are the ones um, able to talk about these matters so the, what is what he is really trying to say is, I want my religion to put up on others, and that's one uh, when he uh, after a while he talks about how he wants to the government to to run is um, following the principles of the Bible, which is a arguable point because the Bible has a lot of good uh, advisement, but it has a lot of bad ones, and so. 
the Bible is not the best book to be falling for advice. I mean, you can select a few good uh, lines that I would say would be morally correct, but there's a lot of there's a lot of things written in the Bible which are not. So it's kind of tough. I mean, if you really want to follow the Bible as a whole, that's a recipe for disaster. So I don't think that's a good uh, principle to make. Even there, um, mainly, in, uh, mainly because he's an American, and Americans uh, have the Constitution, the freedom of religion, which means they can follow whatever religion the American people have, as, uh, can follow whatever religion they want. They, because if they want to be Christians, they can be. If they want to be Mormons, they can be. If they want to be um, Muslims or Hindus, it, it can be. But you have to govern a country as as its whole. In the Amer uh, United States of America, is a very varied, a very. It's a country with uh, many religions. I believe that the they mainly Christian. But uh, you can't uh, rule a country like that. You have to rule a country by logic and moral, which can be found something in religion. Not only Christianity, but other religions are very good. Um, to follow, but you can you can use their um, you can use religion as a prince as a starting point. If you are religious people, if you're an atheist, it makes no sense. But you can use the pick the good things of it and rule the a country by it. But that's not what he's trying to do. What he's trying to do is um, make his own morality using the Bible as an excuse. So the main thing I'm trying to say is. You can be religious in your personal life, but you can be a religious, a uh, religious advocate when you are uh, doing your public life, because that's not what America is about. So I'm not an American, but I believe that Americans should be, as they say of very often, country of the freedom. So you can practice your religion, but you can put your religion upon others. That's why you can't govern. Gov uh, you can't. Uh, govern a country based on religion, because not every person has the same religion as you do. So you have to look at it as a... Um, you have to... Uh, you have to govern a country uh, base, basing it on what is the best for the people, not for your people. Not for Christians, or for Mormons, or for, or for atheists. I'm an atheist, but I don't want people to govern the, I don't want the governors and the, the president, the president, to govern that country. What is the best for me? I want the what is the best for everyone, and that's why I think his point is really um, not very good. Because he says he holds the Bible uh, when he's the, the way he's going to govern it is governing holding the Bible. No, you can't do that. And so, let's say the Quran. Why don't you hold it? Why couldn't be by the Quran? Like Christian Americans would really freak out if some guy says I will rule America based on the Quran. But it's the same thing. It's just a different book. It's 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 you 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 the only book if it's a book that you be having in your hand is the United States Constitution. That's I think. It's, it's common sense. Here's another thing that scares me. He's in the committee of science, uh, committee of science and technology. What? You're not a scientist. You're, a, I mean, you kind of a science because you're a physician. So, uh, but you're not using it the science well because you're distorting the science to our uh, religious beliefs, and you can't do that. Science is about what's really happening, how the world works, and we have a lot of studies that say, you know, you found out carbon dating allowed us to date things, you know, and um, Jane from the TYT said, no, there's, he said, uh, there, there's, uh, there's drawings of people like 30,000 years ago, you, from 30,000 years ago, and you said that uh, you believe that her, that um, you believe that Earth, you believe that the Earth is 9,000 years old, and it was created in six days. You, you, 
you holding one book as your only guideline and that's unscientific. Science is about what works in the world, not what works for you. You can believe that. You can. But you can't put that belief upon other people. Uh, well, I think uh, I said pretty much what I had to say. Probably not, probably uh, there's a lot of things that I forgot. But this is my first video, I hope to get better. It's, I think it's uh, really crap. So, um, I'll put more videos up and uh, hope I can get better. If, uh, hope I hope that uh, people start watching me. So, uh, I think that's it. I'm. My name is Bruno Freire and uh, I hope this goes well, see you next time.